Good morning, Eliza. Oh, you have your what breakfast are you time. Eating? He was eating sushi and chips, but You're he has to go sushi now. Sushi and his soy chips. Sauce. You're gonna Look go back to school. Soy sauce with his. Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Say, Eliza. Say is... greetings and salutations. Great to school. Bye, Eliza. Gotta go. <laughs> All right, getting some coffee. Can't wait. Mom, look, did you see the little M&M's in here? Let's put them over there. Come on, please, baby. We're going to be festive for Valentine's Day. We are. <laughs> yeah, I remember. That's what you wanted. They're great for Valentine's. We're going to make a little house pink and red. We are. We're going to get some pink and red fruit. We need pink and red flowers. Pink and red table. My little angel, are you ready to go scootering with me? Hey, We're gonna go scooter outside? Hey, you was. Whoa. All right, oh, Zach has a pun to tell you guys. What is it, Zachary? What did the ocean it? say to the other ocean? Nothing, it waved. Wait, no. Oh, uh, what? Nothing, it just waved. <laughs> That's what I said. You said. Got it. Eliza. You guys have watch. Do you have a, let me see your watch. Oh my gosh, you're like all ready to go. What are you doing, Eliza? You 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 recording it with your watch? No. Hey, you stay over here, Eliza. Eliza, get over here. Why are you over there? I'm gonna go to the back. There's John over there. He's locking the dog. Look at him go. All right, you guys. Um, we went back inside because the. Pest control guy came to spray outside, but right now, um, the kids are actually back in school anyway, so. Um, I am making a little snacky snack, so I have uh, some toast right there. I have my garlic spread drip, spread dip from Peter Joe's, which is so good. I'm gonna put that on there, and then I'm gonna put the egg on top. It's gonna be so good. And then I'm gonna sprinkle on some everything but the bagel seasoning on there as well. And then we're gonna go to down. I should have put some avocado too, but. I was a little lazy to cut it up, so. But this is gonna be delicious regardless. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so delicious. All right, guys, I just finished eating, but I wanted to show you guys my dining table because I've received like a couple questions about where it came from. And this is one of my favorite thrifted pieces in the house, this dining table I purchased like around the time, like right before we moved to this house. So it's probably like four and a half years ago. I think, and it is one of my favorite, 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 favorite pieces. I got it from the Goodwill, and the table is actually a Pottery Barn table. Let me move the chairs so you guys can see, like, the base of it. This table is so fantastic. It's actually a table that uh, Mom and I wanted to purchase for our old house, but it was too big, even if it was, like as small as you can get it because the leaves expand. But when I got this table, the uh the table like the tabletop had like heat damage and stuff like that and i always meant to buff it out or whatever or refinish the top but then when we got to this house we decided to put this top on it because we always wanted a marble table so we married the best of both worlds we have this beautiful base and this is called the bench right but i believe that they actually change the design of the table so they no longer have this base but we love it so so much and then this is a quartz marble top. So it is so much more durable than actual marble, which we are so happy about because like nothing stains this table at all and it's so easy to clean. And yeah, so this is one of my favorite thrift finds, a $35 thrift flip table. And our mirrors, are the they're both from for the they're both from the thrift store from Goodwill. The brown one is a Pottery Barn one, and then the one next to it is a West Elm, and let's see. Um, oh, the chandelier we got from the Restoration Hardware outlet for a deal because that chandelier is so expensive, but we got it, and it was it weighed like 8 million pounds. I can't believe they were able to actually install it. Antonio did an amazing job doing that it was so scary <laughs> when he was putting it up there um and then the ta the chairs are actually from williams sonoma home but those were also second not second hand but um we got them from the outlet from the pottery barn williams sonoma west elm outlet 
and these were also a really really great deal and we i couldn't believe that we actually found eight of these chairs all at once so it was very very serendipitous very exciting so yeah also that's where the carpet came from it's also from the pottery barn outlet and i think the carpet i don't remember if it's a pottery barn carpet or a west elm carpet but yeah that's how we put this room together nothing was full price at all that we purchased which is amazing and yeah it just shows that you can get like really great stuff at an amazing deal whether it be at the thrift store or at a outlet i like literally love the outlets so much when we first moved to this house we scoured the outlets looking for all the furniture and stuff for what we didn't have or what we needed so yeah that's the story behind our dining room hey guys okay so i just got inside the car um we're going to head over to the post office because i have something to drop off there um and then we're gonna go to the grocery store because mom needs some stuff like veg i can't even talk some vegetables and stuff um i kind of want to go to uh, i hate to say it but i wanted to go to walmart because i need some cleaning supplies for like bags and stuff but i feel like i should just try and order it from amazon i'm actually gonna sit in my car right now and look for it on amazon and see if i can order it because i just don't want to go to walmart because so many people okay uh but yeah that's the update for right now just got to the post office yay all right just got to trader joe's all right you guys first thing i gotta pick up when they come inside garlic bread dip so good all right they didn't have the body wash that i wanted but at least they have ice cream i'm gonna grab one of these you guys this is a travesty this is what i came here for i'm just gonna pick up some hot chicken and some pour of cauliflower. Maybe one more time back again. Alright, got my groceries. But now I gotta go to Albertsons to pick up some other stuff. Alright, just got to Albertsons. Yay! Alright, you guys, we got our celery, parsley, cilantro, cabbage. Got all the veggies that we need. Hey, you guys, I was looking for the Arby's french fries or the curly fries. They have like a sale or something. There's like literally like nothing left. Oh my gosh, they were on sale right there. <laughs> Are these curly fries? I'm confused by this. There's two different bags. Do I even want these now? Because I'm so confused. I don't even know. <laughs> they don't have the diet sun kissed orange soda. This is sad. Alright you guys, just got home and I want to do a quick Trader Joe's haul. Yay! So first to surprise mom and dad, mom's, up. mom's actually here right now in the kitchen. I got their favorite white truffle potato chips. And I was gonna get... They don't have any ghost pepper chips. There's no more ghost pepper chips at all, unfortunately. But I did get these for Eliza, my sweet little angel. Swiss milk chocolate with 30% whole hazelnuts. His favorite in the cyan packaging. I promised him that last time. Isn't this his favorite? Yeah. And I got a couple of these Kung Pao chickens because they are essential. I got three of them. And they didn't have any orange chicken. I showed you guys when we were at the store. Cannot believe they didn't have any more. Mom is really sad about it. The lady told me I have to go there early because she says they sell out really quickly and they don't get very much each day. It's been so long since this morning. Is it still frozen? And then I also got two more tempura cauliflower, my favorite. Mom's like rolling her eyes at my Kung Pao cauliflower. And I also got my favorite garlic spread because I only have one more left and I've already gotten into it and this is a delicious and this morning I discovered that it does taste really good by itself usually I put it with like avocado but it's good if you just eat it by itself with the garlic spread on the on the toasted bread with a fried egg on top it's so good and you should have told me to get bread mom I thought we had more bread bread all right, that's it. Oh, I also got soda and veggies well, at the so Albertsons, but that's boring, so. <laughs> All right, I found this uh, Chardonnay. My mom's gonna use to cook. We have so much alcohol for a family that doesn't drink. 
We only use the cook, but dad gets gifted a lot of these, that's why. Especially back in the day. And they're like literally like so old. <laughs> but mom, what is this called? What kind of chicken is this? Uh, chick <laughs> chicken scallopini. Scallopini. Oh, yum. Delicious. Ooh, look at that. All right, you guys, mom just plated the food. It looks so delicious. Look at that. Oh, yum, 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 yum. All right, you guys, it's time to eat. Oh, food is so good. Mom also made mashed potatoes, rice. So yummy. All right, guys, we are now in my room, and I wanted to open this with you guys. Um, I got... I actually ordered, I've been ordering a bunch of stuff and all this stuff that I've been ordering is to like try and make the channel better and um, especially like with handbag rehabs and stuff like that, I just want to like make everything better and like elevate the experience, I guess. Let me charge my phone, it's like dying. Um, so I've been kind of like ordering a bunch of gear and stuff that um, I can use to make the videos and to um, repair like bags and stuff. So, I bought a bunch of stuff. Okay, so first thing. Okay, so everything like kind of came separately, but um, I got this, uh, this is a, a hand grip for like an aerosol spray paint thing and the, the spray paint like you actually can make your own paint you mix it yourself you put it in like this little glass chamber and then you have like an aerosol can thing that sticks on top of it and then this is like the spray tool so I wanted to try this out and see how good it is um, I've seen lots of other people not like a lot of people, maybe like two or three people <laughs> use this. Um, and not with this gun, I think I saw one video with the gun, but I didn't really look too hard to see um, if they had this. But um, I've seen people use this little spray can, and I think it looks like it works pretty well. So uh, I think this is like a really good, um, less expensive alternative to a paint gun. Um, which I've always kind of wanted to try it, so uh, I actually ordered <laughs> one literally before I started filming this right now, uh, and it's a like a cordless. It's like a cordless one, so you don't plug it in. It's like um, it's all like you power it. It's battery powered. It's not as strong as a regular air gun, but I'm not really doing like artwork, and it's just gonna be pretty much for like. Re, like fixing up handbags and wallets and stuff so I'm never gonna really need too much then I can always just like charge it so I think it'll be a pretty good investment um, so but I really wanted to try both ways so I can let you guys know how that is um, and if you're like never really going to spray paint too much I feel like the spray thing is gonna be so much easier and they're pretty inexpensive um, I think I bought like two, a set of two bottles, and it was like, I want to say like $7.99. So that's pretty cheap in comparison to um, like a full on set, like the spray thing with it, all that stuff. So, anyway, I'll explain more of that later. I also got this Angelus Neutral Acrylic Leather Paint. This is just to mix with other paint. It's pretty much just like white, I think. And you can mix it with other paint to make your paint lighter. Um, so, I got that. Um, then I also got, I got a heat gun, which I think is great, so I don't have to, like, actually use my hair dryer. Uh, and heat guns get warmer than hair dryers, too, which is the reason why I wanted to get this. Um, so the higher heat is better for, like, working with leathers and, uh, when you try to do certain things with it. It's better than a hair dryer, though you can always use a hair dryer as well. Uh, but... Got this one because it's yellow. Yellow is my favorite color. Um, so I'll let you know how this goes. I've never, actually, I've used heat guns before in the past. So, uh, but never like on handbags. <laughs> when I used to work at Borders, they used to shrink wrap stuff. And this was like literally the best. It was so much fun to use. Um, so, 
got that. I'm going to have all this stuff linked to you if you guys want to check any of it out. But I'll let you guys know how it is first before I actually start using it. Um, this is the thing that I was pretty much most excited for. It's an overhead tripod, which I think is going to be super duper cool. I want to open this up right now and try it. You can actually connect it to your desk. And then the tripod arm is like movable and all that. I was thinking about getting... Um, like a, one of those horizontal attachments to the tripod like I'm using right now. Um, but I kind of like this because sometimes when you connect it, when you use a tripod, uh, like if I wanted to work on my desk, it's kind of awkward because the tripod doesn't really have an area to sit on on my desk because it's, my desk is kind of like in the corner. Uh, it's just a piece of paper. Uh, so, I thought this would be great. So, if I wanted to do anything on my desk, I can just clamp it onto the desk and then... How many times am I going to say desk? But let's open this up. I really am interested in seeing how it works. Um, this, this should work for... Um, it says up to items that are two pounds. And I think my camera with all this stuff on it is about one and a half pounds because I weighed it. So, I... I'm really excited to try this out. Gonna have to figure out how to connect everything. This is the little clamp that sits on the table. It must have been so exciting to be out in the world, to be free. I should probably read the directions. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna read the directions. I don't even know where they are, to be honest. Does it even come with directions? Uh, no directions that I can see. I guess I'm just gonna have to look at the photo. Oh, I think we can figure this out. I think I was just putting this on upside down. So this thing, this is the part that clamps. This is supposed to go like this. This is gonna be so exciting. I can't wait to try this out. I'm actually gonna use it on this table. I have a table right here in front of me. It's usually where I do most of my work, but um... I could definitely use this on my desk, which I think would be super duper cool, but I am loving this so far. Okay, I'm going to transition you guys to this Oh my thing. gosh, you guys, this is so wild. This is how I always envisioned this little area to be like this when I'm working. So I am like over the moon. I probably have to move like the light over so you don't see like the little halo right there but this is so perfect it's so much easier now the camera is right here and i can go like this like look at this this is this this is so exciting oh my gosh i'm so happy this is the thing that i've been looking for this whole entire time um this is actually not too, like the most expensive i think it was less than 30 dollars and it also has uh, an attachment I have a bunch of these now at this point. <laughs> but um, you can attach your phone to this as well. So this is super duper cool. I can't wait to use this to film. I want to film um, some handbag rehabs on these two walls, especially the black one. Um, the pink one is actually in pretty good shape, to be honest. I think it just needs a little bit of a conditioning. And um, that is pretty much it. I feel like it doesn't really need too much stuff done to it. So it's a really beautiful wallet. Um, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's like finally happened. I have the thing that I've, I've been wanting this whole entire time. So, um, yeah, let me know how you like this angle. I am very happy. Let me see how like other stuff looks under here. Like, look at all this. Look at this. I can go like this. Ah, oh, so cool. Okay, so that's enough of that, Hadrian. I am very excited um, about this new mechanical armor thing. I think it's a little bit harder to like set up facing me, but I think I got it. Um, I just had to like mess with um, like the screws and stuff that are in the thing, but I am pretty pleased with how this is turning out. So I'm super duper excited. I can't wait to get out um, all this new content for you guys. And I hope you guys like it because I've been like planning. I've spent um, a bunch of money on like 
the I got I I ordered um a new light as well. So I have a third light coming. So hopefully like the lighting will finally be better, especially when I film at night. Because I do a lot of my filming at night. Because during the day, I just get so busy with stuff around the house and doing other stuff. Um, that really, nighttime is like my only time <laughs> um, to really film. So I especially want to film like a lot of handbag rehabs and stuff. And especially since the light is, like the daytime light is so fleeting right now, I feel like I just need good lighting so I can get um, this stuff situated and taken care of at nighttime, which I think is going to be the best. So it's also, kids aren't screaming, people aren't screaming, the people are going up and down the stairs and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, what else was I going to tell you guys? Um, yeah, so Eliza's birthday is over. Um, that was super duper fun. And now I think I finally get to like relax just a tiny little bit before uh, it's going to be John's birthday coming up in February and then Mom's birthday and then my birthday shortly after that. Like our birthdays are all so close together. It's nuts. Um, I ordered like a couple other things online that are coming in as well. And I have project items that are coming in that I ordered online that I can't wait to get to work on also. So I'm doing like a ton of stuff uh, like behind the scenes for videos upcoming. I just really want to make the channel um, so much better and um, hopefully we'll be able to grow our little community here and it'll be super duper fun um, because right now I'm not thrifting at all. Uh, and it also, like, any videos that you guys have been seeing where I'm out thrifting, um, all those videos and, like, all the stuff that I post on Instagram, that's old, just, like, old stuff that, uh, I have saved in my phone and on my computer. Um, it probably will run out soon, <laughs> so I'm trying to, like, space it out. Uh, so, yeah. And I'm just, like... I haven't filmed like a lot of the haul videos, so I try not to like list things or anything until the item's already been um, like in a video. But then like sometimes like I don't have time to actually list things. I should, I don't know. Um, sometimes like things I show in the video, even though it's old, hasn't been listed yet. Uh, so if you guys see anything <laughs> in the video, specifically let me know. I'm gonna try really hard to get on that. I'm, gonna, I'm also trying to grow the store this year too, I also want to expand the horizons for what I have in the shop. Um, this past, like, this 20, 2020 has been like kind of like a slower year in the shop because um, compared to previous years, but that's because I didn't really get a shop at all. Like for like almost like the first half of the year, nothing new really made it into the shop at all. And I've just been like photographing like older inventory and I still actually have a lot of older inventory that I haven't listed or, photo or photographed yet. And that's because uh, it's all kind of like jumbled and in a mess. Uh, so I have a lot of things to do this year. This year is like gonna be the year of like doing all the things at the house. Uh, I feel like 2020 was just like a weird time. So I didn't have, um, yeah, like everything was just like so weird. And now it's kind of like, all, there's almost like a light at the end of the tunnel, especially with the vaccine coming out, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that is probably going to be today's video. I know today's video wasn't really too exciting, um, but hopefully the upcoming videos are. I don't know how exciting the vlogs are going to be. I'm going to try to keep up with them, but I'm still definitely going to try to do at least two videos a day. Let me know what you guys want to see. I don't know, like, uh, I'm going to try and do more cooking, cooking videos with mom, but sometimes it's, like, harder to do those because mom's always busy and she kind of, like, cooks really quickly and then it's kind of hard to film. So then it can never be, really be, like, too official of a cooking video because it's kind of just, like, eh. So, this lighting, I feel like the lighting is already so much better. Like, what did I do? It's, I don't know what I did, but I feel like the lighting just, like, looks so much better. Was that everything that I was going to tell you guys? I think that's it. All right, so I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next video. All right, bye!